hard to see, but we have one baby that's hatched. And we have another egg right there that is hatching. So, and there's another egg right there hatching. So we definitely have eggs that are hatching. So, yay. Okay, so, so far we have three. This one was the first one to hatch. Then this one, and then there's another one. You can't really make it out. Somewhere in the back, back there that I just saw. But then this egg right here is getting really close to hatching. So it looks like we've got quite a few of them. And then it, I can see that there's at least a few more that are cracking. So it does look like we're going to have at least, oh, there's the third one right there. He's still got a little bit of egg attached to it, to him. It does look like we're gonna have some eggs hatching, quite a few eggs that are gonna hatch. So frozen eggs that are fertilized will hatch. Eggs that have been in the refrigerator that are fertilized will hatch. As long as the babies haven't started to develop first, the eggs will hatch. So there we go. And then I'm gonna have, I have a little bit, I'm gonna add it onto this. I have a little bit of kind of sad, bad news. So on, the dogs are fighting. So on uh, Friday night, something happened to Jelly. Um, I don't know what happened to her. She was out, she was outside with Ozzy and Vivian and Loki and Athena. And I brought in the cockers. I bring the cockers in earlier, uh, usually an hour earlier. And then I leave the bulldogs out a little bit longer because right now they're having to stay in my kitchen. And as you can see, my kitchen is a disaster from them being in my kitchen. So they're having to stay in my kitchen right now because I don't have an extra crate. And so I leave them out a little bit longer. And I don't know, about, 8, 8.30 or so, when I brought in, the when I brought the cockers in, Jelly was outside with Oz. And then when I went to bring the Oz and Jelly in at 10, we couldn't find Jelly. And we searched all over for Jelly. And so my only guess is we had coyotes get extremely close to the house and a coyote snatched her. That's the only thing that I can possibly think of. I, I haven't ever had coyotes get this close to my house before, um, but it is breeding season for coyotes and they're pretty sneaky at this point. So that's the only thing I can possibly think of. I mean, if you look like that fence back there, that that's the fence that goes into the pasture. But all of this is inside my yard. I've never had coyotes get this close to, I mean, it would have had to come inside that fence to have been able to get to jelly. And that's the only thing I can think of is because at 10 o'clock when she wasn't out there with Ozzy, we spent the next hour and a half walking all over looking for her and we couldn't find her anywhere and then then saturday i also was looking for her and couldn't find her on saturday either and that's the only thing i can think of is a coyote i don't know it's it's really sucky. So I'm being extra cautious at night now with the dogs, you know, with all of the dogs, since they're all smaller, I'm being extra cautious with them. But yeah, really sucks. But we'll have more on the chicks as they continue to hatch. 
So I thought I would show how many eggs are left. This is all the eggs that are left. That egg, that chick right there, just hatched out in the few minutes it took me to go move chicks to the other deal. There's another egg right there that's hatching. And I don't know about some of these other eggs, but we're gonna give them a few more days to see about hatching. And so now we'll go see everybody that has hatched so far. Okay, so all of the eggs that we're gonna hatch hatched, and these are the babies that we ended up getting. So um, we ended up with 11 of them. Six. Yep, 11 of them out of 22 eggs. So about half of them hatched. So that's a pretty good percentage considering, um, you know, that most of them were frozen. All the babies are doing good. Um, I haven't lost any babies. They've all been doing just fine. Uh, they're eating and doing good. I gotta clean out that water. Gotta do that several times a day. Um, I am gonna go this weekend and get the other chicks that I'm going to be adding. And so um, once I get them, then I will be finishing up this video and that will be it but yep there's the baby so far everybody's doing good these look like they're probably um some sort of rhode island red maybe or a combination um that little brown one in the back right there uh i'm not really sure like I, like i said i don't really know what kind of chickens um my daughter's sister-in-law had um, but the red ones look like Rhode Island reds, but then there's these little yellow ones and then, um, like that yellow one looks like there's some dark on it. And then there's this little dark brown one. And then this little yellow one's got like some black on its head. So I don't know. It's really, don't, don't really know, won't know until they're grown and start feathering out what kind of chicks they are. The ones down in the barn have started to get some feathers on them. Of course, those chicks are older than these chicks are. So, and they're all still doing good. Haven't lost any of them. So, there they are. Okay, so I went and got more chickens. I got them moved into the deal. Got set up, got two lights set up for them and a bigger waterer. That water is up on a block to help keep it from getting so much bedding and stuff in it. We'll see how that works. I might have to still try to hang it, but the other deal that I have for chickens, it's right, it's right there. So that thing's taller and it allowed me to be able to use deals to prop up things um, above it. So, uh, it was a lot. I could I could put hang up the waterers from the top of it. I can prop that one up with another brick if I need to. If it's still getting too much bedding in it, we'll just have to see how it does. So I went and got more chickens. I got ten Rhode Island Reds, ten. Um, Oh my gosh, I forgot. 10 Rhode, Rhode Island Reds, 10, mm, can't, now I can't think. Hold on, let me get the things. Some of them I don't know their name. Oh, this thing doesn't say. Anyway, I can't remember now. 10, 10 Rhode Island Reds, 10 of something else. Then I got five Bard Rocks, five um, Leghorns, and five of another one. And then I got five of these, uh, I don't know, they're called Emerald Beauties or something like that. They're there are these dark black ones. And then I ended up getting two 
right there. You can see that one right there. Like banded turkeys. And then this other big one right there is a white turkey. I got two white turkeys. I haven't done turkeys in a long time. We'll see how that the turkey thing goes. And um, see if we have any luck with any of the turkeys. Uh, we'll just have to see. These are all close to the same age. I mean, some of these are chickens are probably a little bit younger than the chicks that I hatched and some of them are probably just a tad bit older than the chicks I hatched. Um, so we'll just have to see how they all do. Hopefully they all do good. I've got some of them that are like laying down and stretching. Like see this one right here is like laying down and stretching but then popping back up. Um, I did just get them all here and get them all into this and they're just kind of starting to get comfortable and warm up and stuff. See, I have another one right there that was just stretching out underneath the lights. Uh, the two lights should give them enough lights to keep warm and then lots of food. They'll go through a ton of food. So hopefully they'll all do good. We'll have to see how the turkeys do because the turkeys are a little bit bigger because that's a turkey. But see that chicken right next to hit the turkey is about the same size. But turkeys tend to grow just a tad bit faster. So we'll just have to see how the turkeys do. I might have to pull the turkeys sooner than the chicks. It'll just depend on how big they get and if they start uh, bossing the chickens around any. I will have to cover this up with some chicken wire to keep them from jumping out. And um, I'll have to get them moved down into the barn here probably in the next two weeks or so. Um, the chicks that are in the barn will, should be just about ready to move into the secondary location that I stick them. And by the time these ones are ready to go down there, those, those ones will be ready to come out of the cage. And then I can put these chicks in the cage. Um, and by then it should be warm enough that they should be doing okay. I try to keep them here until they feather out, but I don't know if I'll be able to keep them here all the way until they feather out. I might have to figure out something for down there at the barn. Um, for that and then if the turkeys get too aggressive with the chicks I'll have to move the turkeys into this other deal just to keep the turkeys from hurting chicks but I don't know I don't I didn't get so many turkeys that they should seriously overpower the chicks so I think they should be okay this one right here is a turkey but you'll see <laughs> 